Come the early 1990s, JR Central and JR West found themselves with a problem. Both primary units of the Takedo and Sanyo Shinkansen, the 300 and 500 series, had inherent issues. The 300 series had an uncomfortable ride, with high levels of buffeting at 270 km per hour. The 500 series of JR West did not have this issue, but it did have an incompatible seating layout with other units in service at the time. This resulted in a huge cost per set and a somewhat limited production run. Four manufacturers, Hitachi, Kawasaki Heavy Industries, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries and Nippon Shariol, were brought in to design and manufacture a new generation of train. What they came up with was the Class 955 or 300X test vehicle. This unit would become the backbone of all testing for a new Shinkansen 4th generation family with an operating speed of 300 km per hour, 186 miles per hour or higher. As is the norm with Shinkansen test vehicles, the 300X featured two differing noses. Car 1 by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries is currently preserved in Maibara and had a shape that could only be described as an electric clothes iron dubbed the Aerostream nose or Platypus bill nose. This design had similar aerodynamic characteristics on paper to the nose of the 500 series, but it was shorter, allowing for a compatible seating arrangement. Car 6 by Hitachi featured a similar wedge shape to the 300 series, although modified to improve the stability at high speed. You can find this end preserved at the SC Maglev Museum in Nagoya. Hitachi also built Car 5, which had a revolutionary new aluminium honeycomb panel construction method. Car 4, built by Nippon Shariyo, featured a large side cargo door, allowing for the easy installation and removal of data collection devices. Finally, we have Car 3. This was built by Kawasaki Heavy Industries with a welded construction method, but most importantly, featured their experimental new tilting system that would later be installed on the N700 series units. Shortly after its public unveiling, in December 1994, the program immediately fell into turmoil after the Takedo Shinkansen was met with the Great Hanshin earthquake of January 1995. This 6.9 magnitude earthquake in Hyogo Prefecture caused damage en masse and led to sections of the line being closed for repairs. Full-scale testing did not resume until May that year. Once testing restarted, the unit broke and set several records. In September 1995, 354 kilometers per hour was set between Maibara and Kyoto. Come July the following year, this record was smashed when a 426 km per hour speed was set, breaking the national speed record of 425 km per hour or 264 miles per hour, originally set by JR East with the Star 21 test vehicle. One year later, in July 1996, the 300X hit its ultimate speed when it reached an unheard of 443 km per hour, a mind-boggling 275 miles per hour. This record has yet to be beaten by any other test vehicle, not even the next generation Alpha X. The test unit was officially withdrawn from use in February 2002 after one of the most intensive test campaigns of any train. The end product was the 700 series Shinkansen, which entered service in March 1999. The goal of matching the 300 series seating was a success, allowing for much simplified operation and integration of these units. However, the desired 300 km per hour operating speed was not met, with the 700 series initially only able to run 285 km per hour. This gave the 500 series a stay of execution, which they are still enjoying to this day. The success of the 700 series led to several models being developed and even exported. Between Osaka and Fukuoka, there is a fierce rivalry between the aviation sector and the Sanyo Shinkansen, with similar door-to-door -door times being achieved. JR West took this challenge head-on by creating a specific model for this service. That was the 707,000 series Hikari Railstar. These sets were only 8 cars long instead of the usual 16 and featured a 2 plus 2 seating layout throughout, a configuration previously only found in the green car, the JR equivalent of business class. These entered service in March 2000. Taiwan took delivery of the 700T series high-speed train for its network. 
These have a modification of the platypus bill nose, reducing wind noise and a sharp orange livery. Mechanically, these are identical to earlier 700 series sets found in Japan. The 800 series was a development destined for the Kyushu Shinkansen when it opened in 2004 between Kagoshima and Shin Yatsushiro. These units share their internal structure and technology with the 700 series, but replace the AeroStream nose with a more conventional point, which both simplified construction and reduced its top speed to 260 km per hour, making it the slowest Shinkansen unit in service today. The six car sets also do not feature a green car, instead copying the Railstar with 2 plus 2 layout throughout. These sets are only found operating the Subami All Station stopper services between Hakata and Kagoshima. Of course we save the best till last, the class 923 lovingly called Dr. Yellow. This family of two units are purely for rail inspection and cannot carry passengers. They run up and down most days recording track wear, overhead wire condition and track movement. They are also the unofficial mascot of Japan Rail. The 700 series Shinkansen made world press in 2018 when set B8 travelling between Hakata and Kukura on the Sanyo Shinkansen encountered a trespasser on the line. Believing he had hit an animal upon hearing the impact, the driver decided to continue onwards to the next station. The driver of an opposite direction train noticed a hole in the nose cone of the unit, reported it to the signaller, and set B8 was ordered to make an emergency stop at Shin Shimonoseki station, where an inspection took place and the service was cancelled. The 700 series proved to be a mighty vehicle and a huge success for the rail system, being retired from the Takedo Shinkansen on March 8, 2020. The Rail Star still operates to this day on the Sanyo Shinkansen alongside its 500 series playmate. Further developments of the 700 series led to the fifth generation Shinkansen vehicle, the N700 Shinkansen, entering service in July 2007. The N700 could be found on three Shinkansen lines, the Tokaido Shinkansen between Tokyo and Osaka, the Sanyo Shinkansen between Osaka and Hakata, and the Kyushu Shinkansen from Hakata to Kagoshima. The N700 shares many design aspects and components with the earlier 700 series of 1999, but also features many new technologies, such as a redeveloped nose, dubbed the Aero Double Wing. This shape appeared after the evaluation of more than 5,000 nose designs. Bogey covers made an appearance to make the train more streamlined, and the active tilting system from the 300X was bolted in. This new system allows for one degree of tilt into corners, permitting the sets to take the tighter corners of the Takedo Shinkansen at 270 km per hour, where the 700 series had to slow down to 255. This tilting alone shaved 8 minutes off the fastest Nozomi service between Tokyo and Osaka, cutting 2 hours 30 minutes down to 2 hours 22. The sets also achieved speeds the 700 series could not reach, having a top speed of 285 km per hour on the Tokaido Shinkansen and 300 km per hour on the Sanyo Shinkansen. This was the first unit to match the 500 series Shinkansen speed. Much like the 700 series before it, the N700 has seen many modifications. The most common of these is the N700A or Advance, which appeared in 2013. These sets made many improvements on top of the N700. All sets in service at this time were upgraded to this new specification. This is the main vehicle used on the Takedo Shinkansen as of 2022. As with the Hikari Railstar, JR Kyushu created its own sub-variant to meet the opening of the Kyushu Shinkansen in 2011, the N700-7000 and N700-8000 series. These 8-car sets retain the beloved 2 plus 2 seating all over, but this time only for reserved seating, with the unreserved seating cars having the typical 2 plus 3 layout of the standard N700A. Finally, we have the brand new N700S Supreme of 2020. Despite being labelled an N700, the Supreme is not a modification or upgrade of the existing N700A, but instead a full redevelopment of the train, and forms the 6th generation of Takedo Shinkansen units. Visually, the Supreme is very similar to the advanced sets. Key visual changes to look out for are the additional blue stripes continuing to the nose, 
the nose itself sitting higher on the unit, and a more aggressive headlight shape. While top speed and acceleration of the type are the same as that of the N700 and N700A, the Supreme features an improved braking system, allowing for faster deceleration in both service and emergency applications. The N700S is also the first Shinkansen to have an internal battery system, permitting operation should an earthquake disable the overhead electrical supply. The new design of the N700S features many new technologies to increase its likelihood of export, whereas you were not able to reform the earlier units without considerable time and resources, the N700S can be taken into a depot, resized to either 16, 8 or 6 cars, and sent back out, with no modification required. Internally, the N700S is completely different to what came before, with aircraft-inspired wall panels, electrical connections at all seats, LED lighting throughout, and a new, larger information display located at each end of the passenger compartment. All these improvements have made the N700S a success on the export market already, with the Texas High Speed Rail Network planning to use these units. Other bidders included Siemens and their Velaru, Alstom and their TGV models, and of course, China's state railway company with its Shinkansen clones. The N700S8000 has the honour of being the first unit found on the new Nishi Kyushu Shinkansen between Nagasaki and Takeo Onsen Station. This new line opened to passengers in September 2022 and is currently the only Shinkansen line to be completely disconnected from every other line. The history of this line is vast and very deserving of its own video. The N700S is expected to be in service well into 2050, with development continuing to further expand the capabilities of the units, perhaps finally leading to the retirement of the last remaining 700 series Shinkansen units, and potentially even the Immortal 500 series. Thank you for watching, I hope you found this informative and entertaining. If you did, please feel free to like, subscribe and all that good stuff. Take care and I'll see you next time.